Hi, I'm Madmoth. Welcome back to my Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough where I'm playing a druid who talks to animals and can turn into a bear. In this one, I'll continue my quest to find a healer for the tadpole in my brain. I'll interrupt some lovemaking and I'll recruit some more companions. There are some really, really great and funny moments in this one. I hope you enjoy it. If you're new here, subscribe for more gaming playthroughs. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok for gaming recommendations and clips. And check out my podcast of bedtime stories where I read books to help you sleep. You can find all of those links below or at madmorph.com for easy access. Now hit like and leave a comment if you want to see more of this playthrough and I will work on getting more parts out as fast as I can. I am really enjoying this one, I hope you are as well. Thank you for all of the comments on the first video. Let's jump back in to Baldur's Gate 3. Alright, we are back in our adventure with our party in Baldur's Gate 3. It's time to continue. There's a number on you, didn't they? Does that hurt? Let's speak to the healer here in the druid's chambers. We're amongst the druids right now. She's taking care of a little wounded bird. Let's meet her. Very well. I see you. Just give me a moment. Wait patiently. There is Medica. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I'm looking for Nettie. You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Do you know anything about mind flayers? Why are you asking? Um, no good way of putting this. I have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flayer tadpole? Uh, you know of them? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come. Follow me. I might be able to help. Really? That's we unexpected. Need to be quick. This way. Half expected to have this thing in my head for the whole game. All right. Secret doors. Who's that on the table? This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Hmm. I'm hoping for a less grave cure. I wonder if it's comfortable to wear leaves. I'll do the best I can. I'm no Master Halson, mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. All right. Let's see what we can do. Um, <laughs> what's that plant? Will it help? It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Why do I feel like she's going to turn on me? Looking closer, you recognize the branch. And it's no druidic cure. Mm. She's holding Kalimvor's kiss, a briar from the Dale Lands, and a deadly poison. I see. Put the briar down, and we'll talk. I want to help you, but I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? I can merge my mind. I fell from a ship in the sky. Something caught me. An intellect devourer spoke to me. Nothing strange. I just want it out of my head. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. I am a druid. You are my people. I can merge my mind. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. I was kidnapped. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. What's the Look, noise? You've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. Thanks. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me. You'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. <sighs> Alright, hand it over. 
Swear it. <laughs> I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. Astarian you know, disapproves. Listen, I've I'm spent lying, my Astarian. Life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Normal enough, I suppose. Um, you must have learned something. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from mind flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. That's... Good news. You said you were tracking the other victims. Did they change? Hard to say. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers mm. were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. That's where we'll go. You think he's alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? I'll find him. Thank you. It would mean everything to the groom. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Had my fingers crossed, babe. See you around. Let's, um... Alright. Head out of here. Help from Helenetti completed. I think it's time to get on the road. And to get the goblins and to get Halson. So let's make our way out of the druid's chambers. Let's see if we can't save this grove. What's that there that's showing up? Search the Emerald Grove. Investigate. Hang on. Investigate Corga. How am I investigating her? With talking to people, perhaps? Oh, my saviour. I wish you could have visited in better times. Oh yeah, that was the guy that we saved in the cave, wasn't it? What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. <laughs> Should have killed that child. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits. And they were crossed long ago. Alright. Until Master Halston returns, my... So, maybe it's her I need to talk to. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. Rude. The right of thorns is risky magic. Is it not banned in your circle? And if it is? Strangers are the scourge. The right is the remedy. No laws can change that. All right. I'll be off then. Sorry, I just there was a waypoint there, and I thought I was supposed to do something. Let's see. I can actually see. Oh no! Next to out. Hang on. Into the grove. Um, where is that mission? Investigate Korga. The Rite of Thorns is dangerous. Why is she so determined to do this? We should investigate. Probably by talking to people, I guess, and searching around. I want to get on the road. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Who are these two? Oh! 
Sorry, didn't mean to accidentally almost poison you. you. Ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Ah, it's the girl that was nearly bitten by the snake at the end of the last episode. Okay. Um, I hope we'll meet again. I saved your daughter. Got anything more than a thanks for me? <laughs> this could have ended badly. Keep her in line. No more light-fingered antics. Right, Arabella? Yeah. I mean... Thank you. For helping me. Welcome. Will is inspired. Arabella is safe. Her parents are grateful for your intervention. Kamira's locket. Grants the ability to cast dancing lights. Look at that, that's cool. Normally in an RPG, I'm definitely the one to be like, um, where's my reward? But I feel like saving a child is just, even for an anti-hero, it's the right thing to do and you just do it, right? Yeah. It has to be done. Let someone think of the children. How's my inventory looking? Um, a little full. Let me go through and sell some stuff and then we'll carry on. Alright, we're off after sorting my inventory out a little bit. Just ignore that it's not organized. I know it's, <laughs> it's hard for some of you, it's okay. We'll worry about it later, darling. What's up there, I wonder? I think we went up this way yet. To the sort of lookout area, isn't it? Aradin's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. Sorry to disappoint. Hells, I didn't mean it that way. Halsin's important, but you're the first bit of good faith we've had since he left. Keep your wits about you. Things are tense with the druids here. Will do. A grave. I could dig that up if I was... Wanting to. Man, that imp really just follows you around the whole time, doesn't it, Will? Let's see what these folks are saying. Like we're being watched. Maybe you are. Glad you were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but... She kept gasping, clawing at the arrow. Oh. First kill. Don't worry, it gets easier. That's what Zevlo said too. I hope you're right. I want to help. I just didn't think it would feel like this. What's next? Where's this go to? Ah, oh, okay, so this is a shortcut. I can go this way and go back down to the main sort of area of the grove that I wanted to go to. And let's see what's up this way. One of those games where exploring is really rewarded. Like, you can find the craziest quests just by going off on some random path and talking to a rat, you know? Oh, or you can get jumped by, uh... What's happening here? <gasps> Someone's sneaking up on the lookout. I got you, babe. Don't worry. Imp, fly! <laughs> Dashing imp. Get in there. Yes, 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 yes. Imp, imp, imp. Fly, dismiss summon. Nope, you can stay right there. Alright, Astarian. Should we go ahead and have you. Hmm. You are quite close to the edge there. That's been like a sort of prime position for actually booting you off. I don't know if anyone will get close enough in time. Where's your dash? There it is. What's that? Can you get right in front? Can you? <gasps> is this actually going to work? Astarian, do your thing. Too heavy to shove! Oh, damn. A bugbear assassin. Are you a knoll? Is that what you are? Can I examine you? A 
bugbear. Oh, I guess you're just literally a bugbear is what you are. So you're not a goblin? Alright. Well. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Alright, Shadowheart. Heading there. My turn. Time to press ahead. Sure is. Let's. I don't know if we need wild shape for one person. We'll see how we're going. Wait. Can I thunder? Oh, a starian. I. <laughs> Probably uh, should have got you out of there, shouldn't I? Wait, do I have a stun? Moonbeam. Call down a beam of light. It damages creatures that enter the beam. Starts its turn in the light. Mm, 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 mm. Topple. Swipe at a creature. Knock it prone. Can't get close enough. I'll just throw an ice knife now. Critical miss, but he did slip over in the ice that appeared underneath him. Love that. Well, fleet of foot. Command a creature to flee, move closer, drop to the ground, jump off the edge. Eldritch Blast. Oh, what a cool sound. Oh my god, listen to that sound effect. That is amazing. If we get closer, can it be louder? That's gorgeous. Oh! There he goes. <laughs> Didn't die though. Didn't even take any damage. Uh, imp, imp, imp. What can the imp do? Invisibility, sting. No. Get him, imp. Give him a nibble. And then fly out the way, because who knows what's going to happen next. Hungry for the slaughter. <laughs> Prone with laughter. Reason this guy's not having a good time. <laughs> Can't give up. Shadow heart. Got to move. She got. Still getting used to all of their spells. It's crazy that I can be four or five hours in and there are still spells I haven't used. It's been very nicely paced and sort of combat has been pretty sparing so far. Um, I mean, he's down for the count right now, isn't he? I we're probably going to do a, a rest anyway, but if we hit a firebolt for now. Oh, can you not hit? Can you not just skip your turn? It's okay. He's going to have to miss his. I feel like what you want to do is Oh, I knew that there was a chance of you slipping there. How embarrassing. Just laying on your back on the ice like, oh, guys, never talk about this. I was going to jump down there and thunder blast him off the edge. Imp doing some work here. Twelve left. A star. He's still unconscious. I think it's going to take me a turn to stand up, isn't it? I wonder if she's stronger, if she could do it. To, uh, okay, so that was a bonus action. I used my bonus actions. Now I can't. Seven left. At this point, it's just... Probably should just kill you. Oh, what the hell? That's an AoE? Oh, 
Arms of Hadar. Conjuration spell. Prevent targets from using reactions. I thought that was a cast. Nothing will stand in my way. Let's try this. Alright, this is... <laughs> Guys, stop casting spells up there on each other. Goodness. Sorry. I really wanted the fun of hitting them off the edge. What's that person even doing? Snuck up here from somewhere. Is this like a secret way down, maybe? Which leads back down to that side of the camp. <gasps> There's a squirrel there. We can talk to them. How Let's just see this person go? first. What's up for discussion? Have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Excuse Let me. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Coin mistress, you lost me. I've been to Avernus. I'm no devil's servant. That bugbear would have crushed your skull. This is the thanks I get. You got me. Hand the coin over. Mm, I kind of like the tieflings. I feel like I want to be on their side as a people. This whole sort of druid vibe. Let's just ask her. You almost seem honest. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? Um, a mind flayer abducted me and its ship went straight to Avernus. Ah, I see, because we like went through, sort of fought our way through hell. Okay, making sense. Nice. Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here, take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. Hmm. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. Aww. Cool. Wow, I got something for actually being a good person. Didn't have to intimidate. Now let's speak to this squirrel. How do you get down? You, come here. I love squirrels. Get out! <laughs> the squirrel lunges at your foot and hey, bites it. Uh... <laughs> Kick her? No. Last words, I won't remember. Calm down, I'm a friend. You barged in without an invitation. I wouldn't call that friendly. See, you're in my territory, and I want you gone. There's plenty of room for both of us. Let's roll. <sighs> Come on. This might seem silly, but I'm going to use one of my inspirations. I feel like druids and animals, it's important. Come on, help me out with... And I have an advantage of animal friendship. Unbelievable. Why didn't I use that anyway? Better. How about this? You can stay if you keep those ugly feet on the ground. I'll even sweeten the pot. Found some weird smelling stuff on the ground. You can keep it, but these trees are mine. Follow the rules and I won't have to intervene. Got it? All right. Reward, Timber's incentive. We convinced Timber to let us walk on her territory. He left us a small trinket to keep us away from the trees. He received hyena ear. 
alchemical ingredient, combine three of them to calcinate into ashes to make a potion of speed. Whoa, what's the... Why are you glowing? What's happening here? You're charmed. Can't attack Spellcaster. Did I charm you? Remember our deal now? You've charmed me. Right, let's have a rest, I think. Could be worth taking a long rest here. All pretty beat up. Long rest. Find the rest of the companions. Get the goblins. Find Halson. Jobs are good. Then. You again. Oh, I thought they were going to have like extra conversation for me every time. Hi, Shadowheart. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Hmm. I want to talk about that's all, all that's happened. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. Wow. What a compliment. It's always nice. Ah, <gasps> dog. Hi, Scratch. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I hope you are. Come here, you. It's a good boy. See what Will's got to say. Well met. How did you come to be the Blade of the Frontiers? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the Cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Hmm. And he named you the Blade of Frontiers? No, but he named me friend, and that meant the world. But what of the others? The children never saved, the cries never heard. In the boy's tears, I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The frontiers demanded a blade, and so I heeded. Baldurian, it's nice to finally put a face to the name. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. So is he, like, known? He's like a sort of Robin Hood slash Batman type figure. I've got no memory of my past. Could the Parasite have done that? Seems unusual to me. Then again, we're talking about tadpoles inserted into our brains by rubber-skinned tentacle monsters. There's nothing usual about it. All the more reason to stick close. I think you'll agree. I do. And lastly... Oh no, that's all of my companions. Okay, time to sleep. Let's do auto and rest. I'm actually going to sleep through now. Tonight, and... you can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject agony. Sigh dreamily in the fantasy. <laughs> Go for a walk and stop yourself from retching. Do you know what? We're going to play a little bit into the fact that she really actually enjoys this. You would have given anything to have seen it. As you jolt awake, too many questions plague you. Wow. 
I'm loving this dark sort of. When the proud deed of her death was yours, why do you have no recollection of it? Oh. What's that? Milady, <gasps> jubilant day! I have found your vile self at last. Scleritus fell. Your loyal and ever adoring butler. I have a butler. I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. What? What do you mean? About damn time someone respected my godlike depravity. It's about damn time someone respected my godlike depravity. Imagine just playing it through like that. Be kind of cool. Uh, get away from me. I'm in a nightmare. My head is sick. Very sick. Um, honestly, it's about damn time. My lordly reprobate, I, I missed you ever so. I found you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of dog mark on the road. Okay. Did you cause me to kill her? Such fine work could never be done by a wretch like me. Hmm. Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. Inheritance? You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. Right. Tell me everything about my past life. Though I would love to regale you with your past triumphs, uh, I cannot. I am forbidden to interfere. Our debtors will not allow it. Be true to yourself, my lord. Instincts, the subtitle said, my lady. Honestly, what did you give me? Because if that's clothing, uh, I might be seduced by this life. The Deathstalker mantle. The shadow itself. Once per turn, you can kill an enemy, shroud yourself in primeval darkness, and become invisible. I mean, can't I get clothes for killing people? Oh, it's going to be a massacre. All right, let's um, <laughs> move out from camp. It's so cool. All right, let's get out of here. I think... I want to run back down here and do a little explore because we've missed some companions. Let's grab the rest of them amongst the shadows before we get too deep in. Oh my god, you were right here the whole time? Speaking of... Basil. Lazel? Lele? Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Rather demanding for a woman in your position. Persuasion. Shoot the trap down. We must kill it before it harms someone. Don't worry, I'll get them out of here one way or another. Uh, maybe try a deception. This creature's dangerous. Get out of here. Leave it to me. With my charisma. Nice. She's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. A blast? You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. 
Persuasion. I'm in dire need of healing. Where is this camp? I already know where their camp is, but I'm going to do the roll for the XP. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. I and be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Tieflings are kind Enough of... Gawking. Get me down. You know. Say please. Never. <laughs> the way they approved my companions of that. Observe and listen. You'll hear goblins before you see them. Like, tieflings are kind of... They're pretty like elves, but they're not as lame. You know? Okay, what can I get you down with? Maybe I'll just show off a little bit. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. Oh. I must find a crash. You will join me. Um. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. What is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. Hmm. Why does that feel like it's to get you to go there and then they just do away with you? I'm actually going to try and balance the audio a little bit more here. Sound effects down. Ambient down a little bit. The voices are slightly quieter than everything else. So let's go ahead and just pull stuff back slightly. To about 80 with the voices at 100. Simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. Hmm. All right, we'll journey together. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Uh, okay. Will, can you go back to camp, mate? Well, mate. Because everything I do bad, you don't like. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. I'm sure for now. And just when things were warming up. Okay. I'm not sure me I and you are going to get along, though. Become clear. I feel like she's going to be quite dominating. I'd like you to join me. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Word that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Well, I'm also a half-elf, so watch your tongue. But also, I feel like I want them to hang out, because I want to see this whole, like, enemies to lovers thing between these two. You know it's a thing. It's going to happen, right? Sure, that's how RPGs work, isn't it? Okay, well, there's one companion that I was after, and it looks I'm like I, crave blood. I can level her up. So it kind of remembers XP you've got so far, I assume, and kind of brings them up to your level when you do pick them up. Okay, so there's one. Now we have to pick a subclass for you, even though we've not spent any time with you yet. Battlemaster, Eldritch Knight, or Champion. Battlemasters are paragons of tactical superiority, combining combat maneuvers and experience in the field to dominate every fight. I think she was dominant. Superiority dice. Four. Your superior superiority dice are D8s. You have four. A fighter level 10, they become D10s. They fuel your Battlemaster maneuvers. Eldritch Knight. Study magic to supplement their weaponry, allowing them to overcome resistance from the toughest foes. So we get two cantrips, two spells. Alright. Champion. 
Approach the complex problems posed by combat with one distinctly effective solution. Hit those problems really quite hard. Improved critical hit. Hmm. We have quite a bit of spell casting going on, and I feel like we would benefit here from really building like a pure kind of fighter, a pure tank, a pure leader kind of build. A fighter build, rather than a sort of half half in, half out. Spells are so fun, but we have a lot of spell casting going on. Improved crit. I don't know what combat maneuvers and stuff are, so I'm gonna go I think we're gonna make you a champion. That sounds useful. That's hard for me because I love a spell, but I'm trying to bring some balance to the party. Alright. What now? Hey, where else is still in darkness? Can't up here? Slow down. No one stopped me yet. Let's continue to explore and see if we can't find the wizard. Probably around here somewhere. Chapel. You! Oh, hello? No another step, hear me? Boss! Got company up here! What's this then? Trying to creep around us and loot the crypt? Not happening. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. Oh. Um. That ship's full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. Come on. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. Hmm. It would have been quicker to kill them. I mean, my thinking is I don't know how much XP I get there, right? Like, from a successful roll for them to let me take over this area. If that goes to combat, maybe I get even more XP by killing them all. I don't know. Time maybe someone can tell me in a comment have left the plaque unreadable. whether it's better to kill than it is to persuade. So is this just a crazy view out here? Something over there. Over where? That mound. Secrets. Scrolls. The ship that crashed. Our ship. What else is here? Still breathing, despite everything. Hmm. What's that? All sorts of dirt to dig up. Arrow of fire. Hmm? And a way to climb down. Something good here, I hope. A skeleton. What are you gripping on to? This feels like it's sort of covering something, doesn't it? Hang on. <laughs> Shadow Heart, step off of there a second. Shadow Heart. Sweet Heart. It's a hatch. Let's try this way. Starion. With pleasure. You got this. I need a twenty. Oh my god. Roll again. Try again with another thieves kit. Can I add another bonus? Let's hit you with some guidance as well. We were close that time. Good thing we hit the guidance that just got us over the edge. 
else in here? No time to rest. Hmm. A dank crypt. Have I been this way before? Explore the ruins. Oh well. Arm oh. scribes. A body. But no sign of a struggle. Goink. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Chillin'. Go towards the lights, usually a good bet. I have a lot on my mind. Jurgle. I didn't think anyone worshipped the scribe of the dead. Yurgle. Hmm. This button. What's that? Oops. <laughs> oh man. Me and my button pushing. Something just woke up down here. Will I ever learn? I'll do it my way. Hide. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. Swift and lethal. My path be true. Time to see what you can do. Action surge and second wind. So otherwise we just hit, hit, hit. Psionics. Mage hand. Create an invisible spectral hand, manipulating and interacting with objects. Main hand attack, lacerate, hamstring shot. Shoot an enemy in the thigh. You got a bow too. Very nice. Got to keep fighting. Let's move you On I go. a little here, but also behind. Good. Hit him up. Uh, this works until long rest, so... Shield it. Fight some skellies. You gonna do something? No? Hello? No choice but to keep going. My turn. You know what that means. Bar. Um, I'll stay right here. Oh, silenced. Okay. I realize now building her into a tank, like I turn into a literal bear, you know? What better tank is there? <laughs> Some of the pauses here between character turns. Oh, they found you, Astarian. It's time to get things going. Must have advantage. Well, just pierce them then. Yes. Little offhand stab. Victory awaits. Okay, let's see what you've got. Let's not use the bow. What is it to change? I thought it was alt. Maybe I'll just. There we go. Click it, it's fine. Pommel strike. Oh, you need to get closer. Um, where did that go? <laughs> Miss. Let's end this. Concussive smash. I'm trying to get them stunned so they don't do any damage here. Or dead. I'll take that too. Yoink. 
know I should loot after, but I'm a little worried skeletons might come back to life. So, let's push you up. Do you know what? Go, you go engage here. For one. And shield of faith yourself, too. Keeping us silenced, so... Let's get into it. With haste. Munch, munch, munch. No. Can't munch. Frosty. All right, Astarian. Let's... Get you in here. I will ascend. I will not know failure. Good job. Push him over for fun. That's a big push. She's strong. Can't afford to let up. Let's make this quick. No more spells for you. Hit him again. Oh, you can't. Um, do I have anything for damage? Oh, maybe this will do it. Does the shove damage? Here where you can Oh, they keep keeping out of my range. I'm coming for you. Oh. I reckon I can just do you away with a fireball, actually. Save anyone having to run over there. Ignis. Miss. Ignis rhymes with miss. Alright, you got up here, Astarian. And I think the bear is going to take care of that, so we'll start moving up here. Oh, can't get you into vision here. Let me... I don't want to hide... Blessing of the trickster. Advantage on stealth checks. Just engage. Okay. Shadowheart being a boss in this fight. Oh my god, this guy is kiting. This bear like crazy. Miss! Her kind of like counter attack is so useful, it's turning out. Be quick. Time to strike. Camo. I also love how far and Shadowheart seems like she can do a little bit of a movement and then hit him. Nice. They're escaping me. Swift as my feet can carry me. Like Shadowheart carried that fight. Use the light source like a torture or light scene in the dark. Please. Mean like this. Dancing lights, baby. Good 
taking all your loot. Ruffling in your pocket. Oh, a key. Nice. That's be useful. A chest. An onyx ring. Wretched thing. Pull yourself together. So what were you uh, protecting in here? A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Mm hmm. The amulet of lost voices. Speak with dead. So I have speak with dead constantly when I wear this as a spell I can cast. Amazing. Let's stick that right on our neck. Oh, I lose dancing lights. Do you know what? Speak with dead makes perfect sense for someone who seems to be struggling with being a serial killer. And I'll give the guiding lights locket to someone else. Hell yeah. That's awesome. What else is in here? Can't cast spells silenced. Am I still silenced? Anything in these? It's a sarcophagus. Let's see, what's this say? Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Right. Well, I mean, opening a sarcophagus is... I've seen the mummy. Okay, it's always a bad idea. Let's go ahead and save it in the dank crypt. And see what happens. It's never a good idea, let's be honest. spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Hmm. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? So he has spoken. What he talking about? A little spooked by the crawling out of the tomb pit. What are you? A peaceful undead. Interesting. Why aren't you attacking me? Hmm. What's he? What he are you talking about? An arbiter of certain matters. But that is not important now. Wilt thou answer my question? Ask away. So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? Mortals live to die, to be slaughtered. Mine seems worth little as my bud calls me to harm others. No one life is worth more than any other. We are all equal. Depends on a person's deeds. Life's only value is as currency. Each life is of infinite value and merit, sacrificing everything for. The only life that matters is mine, Depends on the mortal. Ooh. I'm not sure what this guy wants. I would love to say no one life is worth more than any other. But I feel like it might depend on a person's deeds. Maybe not their deeds, but just depends on the person, actually. Depends on the mortal. Oh, I don't know. It's a tough one. There's obviously some way he's judging me for this to be a right or wrong answer. Um, I don't want to do the super dark ones, but maybe we say... It depends on the mortal. I don't know if it depends on the mortal or the deeds. What is a life worth? Depends on the mortal. I'm curious by what standards thou shalt judge. Very well. I am satisfied. Okay. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Um, where are you going? We have nothing more to discuss. I must attend this place after so many years away. 
We will see each other again. Soon. You seem very certain of that. The mechanics of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. Regardless, it will occur. Alright. So I had one from Haunted One here. Release Withers from his tomb. Withers is like the best name for a mummy ever. Alright, so that was part of my story. Hmm. No inspirational events for uh, a star in here. What's in here? A soul coin. Another one. 80 gold. Agate. And a scroll for Ray of Frost. Withers. Look what you race. and bone dust. Still comforting after all this time. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. I am Withers. Hey, cute little tomb. Oh, got some doorways here. We pick that lock. Our tool will do the trick. I gotta make sure we're always topped up with thieving tools. What's in here? This place wasn't built for the living. run out of lock picks. No lock, no handle. How does it open? What else is in here? Must be from the other side. That was worth me opening that big door up, wasn't it? Here goes nothing. Wait, hang on, that's what I just went through. How does Look at these ones. Oh! What are we percepting? Hmm. Traps. Event. The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. Feels like this sarcophagus might result in something. Right. Turn based mode for precise control of your characters. Take that key and that little dagger and then skedaddle back out of the way, I think, because that's. What's next? Asking for trouble. Delicious. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. There's grease on the floor. Okay. There's an ancient door on the other side. Is there a way? Oh, there's a button there. Maybe that turns it off. Hmm. What a day. I wonder if you could... Oh dear. I <laughs> seem to put you right in the way. Go ahead and duck. Everyone else stay where they are. Okay, ducking seemed to work nicely. Could push that button a star in. Okay, I think we're okay everyone. Good. We shut it down. On I go. 
Then these things are for trap. Wonder if opening the other ones does yet more. Wait, we're still. Why is the environment still taking turns? We push the button. Proceeding. Excellent. There are traps here. Look ahead. Let's avoid that trap. There are traps here. A soul coin, a peridot ring, a studded shield, a war pick. Open up. Talk to dead. No. If not over, then through. I want to get to use that at some point. <gasps> Ring mail armor. I'll have to go through everyone's weapons and armor soon. Oh, it's it shocked. Oh, wait, I have a key. Outside. Mangled fissure. Oh, wait, I remember this doorway. This was like the first place we came to, and there's the fast travel waypoint. Okay. This is inside here. Hmm. Well, let's continue and see if we can't find our... I think the final companion is the wizard who's from the origin characters at the beginning. I forgot about my little brain. I miss my brain. I wonder if they're going to show back up. Little brain pet. Also how I feel on a Monday morning. I miss my brain. Where is it? Wherefore art thou, brain? I see something. What's going on with that room? That's a mistake. What is Approach it? Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Hmm. Touch it. I'm just, it's just going to be a bad idea run. Open sarcophaguses, touch weird sigils, murder people in their sleep. It's fine. A hand? Anyone? It's the wizard. Fantasize about hacking off the hand. <laughs> Slap the hand. Ignore the urge to maim. Grab the hand and pull. Druid wisdom. I mean, I want to fantasize about hacking it off a little bit. This branch of flesh is begging to be pruned, and its sap sucked from. Oh. My mistress' eyelids stop! Cease, you lose! Ah! Ah! As soon as the dreams cross the threshold of your imagination, <gasps> you snap no! back to realize they have all come true. I actually did it? You were supposed to lend a hand, not take one. Joy floods through you. Oh my god. Your days on the Nautiloid, but now you are truly awake. Alive. Oh. What? Oh no. <laughs> no. Do I just not get the wizard? Oh, what? Gale's severed hand? Hang on. Oh my gosh. The few remaining fingers of this hand have grown pallid, cold, and stiff. Guys, that wasn't me. I was just... I'm sorry. I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Lazelle is delightful. In a very look-at-me-twice-and-I'll-dismember-you kind of way, of course. Oh dear. I, uh. Gail, are you okay? We can get you a little prosthetic, mate. I need. To <laughs> Wait, is he back? No. Oh. Oh no. So, uh, let's go ahead and reload that save. I don't want to kill one of my companions off that early. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Magic glitters and swirls from it around. Let's get that hand out of there. I'll just do it again. Anyone? Give it a slap, though. Ow! <laughs> Perhaps 
I should have clarified. Hmm? A helping hand. Anyone? Got you. Just about. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Give him a yank. Deep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. All right. Are you okay? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the Nautiloid as well. I was. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region in what region oh ocular um couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself the insertee we speak of this parasite are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation it will turn us into mind flayers it's a process known as ceramorphosis Morph. and let me assure you it is to be avoided don't avoid me you don't happen to be a cleric by any chance do you a doctor Surgeon, uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most cleric's skills. Most, no doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites afraid not. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more? Oh, I'm trying to think who my perfect together. party is. It might be who I already have. I would potentially, potentially, if my bear ends up being tanky enough, switch Lazel for Gale, if he's a powerful wizard, depending on what sort of spells he has and what we turn him into, but we'll see. Sounds like a plan. Oh. I see you're traveling with plenty of company already. For now. Perhaps I can join you later instead. Yes. I'll make my way to your camp and embark upon a succulent slow cook to be consumed upon your return. A succulent Chinese meal? Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest. See you back at camp. So, I believe, I think, off the top of my head, that's all of the companions. Who is your favorite? Let me know in a comment. Who would you like to see in my party as well? Who's your favourite? Who would you like to see in my party? We've got Lazel, we've got Astarian the Vampire, we've got Shadowheart, Gale we just met, we've got Will back at camp as well. So we can only have three with us at a time. They've all got their own story, their own inspirations, their own quests and plot lines to go through. I've done all of the Divinity 2 characters because I've done two playthroughs. I did a playthrough as... I still can't remember her name. I should have looked it up to remind myself after the last episode. The bard that has the devil inside her, which is kind of similar to what we're doing here. I think it's Ly... 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 Lyra? Leia? Something like that. Amazing playthrough. Love that character. And I did a second one as Fane, which was really fun. But I did all of the characters' quests. The Red Prince, everyone. Okay, so we've sort of explored that full area. Let me just go and get through the fog of war that's over there. I just don't want to miss anything. I really don't want to miss any quests in this game. Though I will do a multiple playthrough. Definitely I'd be playing this again at some point just for myself. I do want to catch all the good stuff. If I can. All the goodies. Explore all the pathways. Speak to all the animals. Meh, 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 meh. It's a loud bird. Okay. This leads back up to the chapel where we were. 
didn't quite explore this area fully. Now, these will just be different ways into the place that we already explored and got the loot from. I'm guessing that's just another way in. This is uh, interesting. Look at this. A way to... How cool is that? I love how they do environmental uh, things there for during a fight. And then I think you can actually throw a rope down and like jump in there. It's awesome. Okay, should we get to it? Shall we get on to a main thing? Return to Zevlor. Oh yeah, after speaking to thing. Blade of Frontiers, hunt her down. Oh, there's still a companion up there. Of course. Okay. Let's go get her. Oh, well that's going to be a hot... Do you know what? I would probably swap out Lazel for her. Depending on what her personality comes across as when we speak to her. Because she looked... Uh, I mean, she seemed... I mean... <laughs> She seemed really interesting on the menu screen. Is that loud? No, never mind. So it will continue up here. I'll be keeping an eye on you. We I'm went sorry. through that stone door, didn't we? If I we? choose to kill you, you will not even see it. Did. I've got a long road ahead. Got to remember all the places we've been. Bit of a companion quest going on. Although, do you know what? We should really have Will in our party if we're about to go and recruit um, the Tiefling. Because that's his whole deal. So he should really be with us and get to have a say, I think. So I'll, I'll switch him out before we actually arrive there. I think that would make sense. But we'll see what happens on the way. Mind flare pod. An empty mind flare vessel. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. Dead end. Ask. I forgot about going in here, so I wanted to find my way back to here. I'm so glad we stumbled on this. Please be a black cat. Ah. Oh. The opposite. I realized like three hours after I was last here that of course I can turn into an animal and sneak in here. And um, people in the comments were like, turn into an animal. I was like, oh, I did realize later I meant to come back. An owlbear. Wait, is this just a different way into the cave? Hmm. Might just play the whole thing as a cat, to be honest. Stray RPG. Is the owlbear sleeping, or... How comes I can loot it? <gasps> it's dead? What happened? Is this the one that we... Saw and backed up from. Did someone come in and kill it? How do I get down there? Wait, what the hell? Can you. I think it is the same one, right? Seems like a big drop. I'm pretty sure this is the same cave, but someone's come in and killed it. down. What if I jump to here and then down there? Okay. Hang on, my love. Coming. Oh no. I killed it. 
Head of a broken spear. Goblins. So the goblins did this. Where's the baby? Ah, oh, an egg. An egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Can I hatch it? Headless skeleton with some armor. that egg go? Egg, egg, egg. Where is the egg? Why is it owlbear egg? Let me see. Owlbear hatchlings are tiny and adorable for the first few ten days of their life. Then they eat you out of house and home. Then they simply eat you. 40 camp supplies? I'm supposed to cook it at camp and eat it? No, I'm going to keep that forever. It might hatch. Okay. Let's climb back up. Wait, there's a backpack there. Yoink. Man, that's sad. Like, we managed to successfully avoid fighting that owlbear and killing it, and then goblins just come in here and kill it. Why did I come through here? There. Wild shape. It's a bonus action, and I, can't, I can't, I can't use it again. To get out. Sorry. How am I supposed to get out of here? Ugh. I'm gonna have to go the long way around, don't I? It's fine. Sorry. Did you break something? Babe? Okay. I know that that was a rush, but... Enough messing around. It's the way out back here, isn't it? Just like shouting through the hole to my party. Everything, despite everything. I'll be back in a second. Just stay there. Oh, look at the cool, like, prints, too. Oh, there we go. It wasn't too bad. We're just up here, aren't we? Well, good news and bad news, guys. Owlbear is dead. But I got an egg. Boo! <laughs> Sneak up on them whilst they're still looking in the hole. Expecting you to be there. Okay. I reckon that's a dead end, and it looks like we go through this area to end up up here, to where we need to be. So let's, that would be my guess from looking at the map. Let's head to the town. <gasps> What's this? Oh, it's that boar. Okay. And let's explore in here and see what's up. Something's waiting up ahead. Perception. Something is hiding. Let's see. What's hiding for us? A blighted village. Who's hiding? Let's get in and out. Your sour face is tiring, Shadowheart. By all means, leave if I am so distasteful. I'd rather not turn my back on you, if it's all the same. We all stay hidden. Let's see what's going on. Light on my feet. <clears throat> Who's here? Astarian, you're the best. Sneaking. You go and take a look ahead. <gasps> Goblins. You're sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend. Might have to take that nose. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Deception. 
Intimidation. Persuasion. Detect thoughts. Illithid wisdom. Let's try again, shall we? Address me properly. Couldn't really fail that one. Yes, yes, true soul. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. D don't, don't let me keep you, boss. Lads were gathered by the windmill. Hmm. Good boy. Bit of caution never hurt. Who's a good little goblin? More of our crowd inside. But we'll send word you're all right. Thanks. Let's group you back up. And looks like we can head back down now. Is this the goblin camp? I thought that was over that way. Yeah, the goblin camp. Such a grim name for such a beautiful flower. I heard you mumbling that line to yourself earlier. It needs more work. Fortune so this is just a bit of an ambush. Me. Take it over. Unlock that sigil. Hello, goblins. What's going on in here? A bedroom. Can I have a lie down? Oh, I'm exhausted. Guys, just stay there for a while, okay? Maybe a little snooze. Not bad. I've had better days. And worse ones. Oh, it's good to appreciate yourself. Some clothes. Nice. Have a little fashion show later. Lots in here. Pigeons. I love the sound of pigeons. I sit at the park and I'm surrounded by pigeons and I just hear that all the time. The and it's like very comforting. Garbage. All right, by the windmill. Let's go say hello. And these things have stayed interesting. Everything here is ours. Bugger off. All right, Braveheart. Keep your paws to yourself, and I won't cut them off. Very friendly bunch, these goblins. Oh my god, who's that? Chock. <gasps> Lump the Enlightened. I ate a hand once. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. The absolute. You're quite eloquent for an ogre. I bear no such brand. Deception. I'll do you one better. I'm one of the absolute, absolute's chosen disciples. Nice. Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavoured. Food? Food. Not food. Friend. My name's Bruce. You're quite articulate for an ogre. You don't bear a brand. I'm no use for the absolute. Or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest 
sate my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. <laughs> You'd make a good companion. Forget goblins, you should be fighting for me. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. Hmm. 500 gold if I can call you into battle. A thousand gold after you fight for me. I'll pay you in the flesh of a fallen. You'll have your fill. I mean, oh, I need a 20? Yo. I mean, give it a go, but... Imagine if I did, though. A slip of the tongue. You meant to make a better offer, surely. <sighs> I really do want to call you into battle. You seem cool, but 500 is a lot. 500's a lot. How much do I have? Can I look? Uh, 600 is all I've got so far. The Diary of Lump the Enlightened. The Considered Thoughts of the Silver Quilled Lump. Oh, I'd love to read his diary. Um, God, is it worth paying 500 gold to call him in? I think I've changed my mind. Oh, but you do love to tea. Quite eloquent for an ogre. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Were I so lucky? Mm. I wonder... Uh, not so much as a nibble. I wonder if that 500 would mean food? I could call you in whenever. No, not food. Or just once. What's that? Cracked support beam. And then what happens? No taste. Probably lands on you, doesn't it? What bear? Bear? Don't eat bear. Must you this innate mm. temptation knocks? Would you like to work for me? So I can ask again if I make some money. Okay, good to know. If I want you, I can come back for you. So we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. <laughs> Hardly a promising introduction. I mean, it's a fair play, Mastarian. This innate shack obeys me. That might be worth a look. Picking it up. Very perceptive, that one. Wait. Not for communal use, it seems. Oh. Best show some respect. Sorry, I saw that was red too late. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's come over here, guys. Not doing anything at all. Astarian. Hide, sir. A hundred gold, onyx, ladle, a stuffed bear. We found the bear. This bear, off torn and repaired, seems one good squeeze away from crumbling into moulded stuffing and threadbare patchwork. Good job. Step carefully. Over here. Boot back up. Still alive, so that's progress. Moving ahead. It's over here. Volo's Guide to Baldur's Gate. A poorly drawn map of a city captioned in flamboyant script. 
What follows is the most thorough and accurate account of the city and people of Baldur's Gate, the sordid gem of the Sword Coast, an editor's note in crimson ink. This volume is startlingly accurate, save for the nonsense about the Black Dragon Gate. It is not alive, no matter how many vagrant hags claim otherwise. Commission someone else to draw the map. Wasn't that the guy that was obsessed with dragons that made his way to the goblin camp? Doing da doing. It's just another way out to nowhere. So they said they were by a windmill in the blighted village. Wish I could zoom out slightly more. It's all that screeching. Why is some of my folks left behind? I do be tasty. Ah, so we have to group this way. Wonder if the gods are watching me. There we go. Back in charge. Ah, a windmill. Rescue the gnome. Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! Oh no. <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. Um, what the hell's you doing? What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Let me rephrase that. Why are you doing this? Because it makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it does look funny, I'll admit. Mind if I stay and watch a while? We ain't looking for company, maggot. Not unless you want to join him up there. <laughs> How about this? You pay a toll and go on as you like. Or else you fly. Tough it up! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Ooh, okay, so I can offer a lesser slum. I can read the goblin's mind, pay you nothing, and you and your cronies are gonna leave. Detect thoughts. Good roll. I'm going to pay nothing. New Year cronies are going to leave. You're a true soul. I didn't know. Wouldn't dare question you. Never. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. We'll, uh... We'll, we'll, we'll leave you to it. Ah. Let's find you something to eat. All right, then. Fresh meats. Scared meats. Yes. Be gone. All right, one second, gnome. I'll get you down from there. Somehow. Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. We... we should keep moving. Hmm. Another episode. You already know as much as I do. Best ignore it. As long as it doesn't hamper us too much. Okay. What is this a statue of? Right. 
Sorry, Gnome. We were just distracted for a second. Coming, coming, coming. I suppose I've got to stop this somehow, have I? Is there a lever or something? It's just lots of bones and such in here. Ah, there you go. Oh, uh, ah! What the? Oh, birdie, you just flew away! Wrong one. Wrong, wrong one. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I know how this looks, guys. Okay, you probably think, as a serial killer, I did that on purpose. But I promise you, I promise you I didn't. I, I'm sorry. I... <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh dear, little little gnomey there, little gnomey gnomes. That's uh, oh dear. Let's go back, shall we? Let's. I feel <laughs> break, not release. Break, break. There you go. That's so funny that they have that in that that can happen. Oh. What's going on back there? Go check it out! That tickled me. I already told you to leave, goblins. What are you doing? I got you, gnome. Sorry about what happened before. Cut me loose! What's in it for me? Free me and find out! Alright. Well, oh, bag of Kamara. There's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. On with what? You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? I'd rather know how you got caught. Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack. If you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. You're far from home for a deep gnome. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. Hmm. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. Okay. Guess I'm not getting a reward. Anything down here? Why does this little area exist? No reward then. Can I hop the fence? I can hop the fence, right? No? Okay. Onward. Snoring. A scrawny bugbear. Hang on. This is... Not a uh, goblin, so not going to be friendly. Where are we heading? We're heading up towards where that is. We'll do a rest at some point and get Will in. That's everyone hide. What was it? Alton 4. Shift and 4. Hide. Oh. 4. Already forgotten the uh, how to make everyone do it. It's a friendly looking shadow. I detected. Let's get on with it. Everybody hide. Someone there. The boy is sleeping. 
Just like old times. Blueprints for some devilish weapons. Hmm. Our friend was a fine blacksmith. Take this. What's in here? Blacksmiths. Could be some loot in there. Check the chest. Gold. Check the crate. Oh, someone there. A pot lid and a spoon. Alright, well that was bloody worth sneaking over here for, wasn't it? Let's slink past. Continue on. Maybe I should stay crouched forever. Should mind my step. Why <laughs> would maybe I should stay crouched forever? What a bizarre thing to say. What's that? Seems simple enough. Uh um <clears throat> Um, sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I was just like, what was that sound? And, um, apologies. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm blushing. <laughs> Tickled me. Okay. I can't wild shape, so we'll have to just fight it up. Man, dude, that is like, how are you even doing achieving that? That's like, I get that she was, but oh man, like over this too, over the boulder and the dead guy there. It's oh, I feel a little bit sick. Um, well, have some of this. <laughs> Right, Shillelagh. Should have done that before, it's fine. Just step back a bit, because it's... Big girl coming. Dead, instantly. Alright, she really is going to smash one way or another. We interrupted it in one form, and she's going to have it. So, let's get in there. Going to need to do something. Gain an extra action. Um, ranged attack, astral knowledge, proficiency in all the skills for your chosen ability, main hand attack, lacerate. It's gonna bleeding. Two turns of bleeding, 15 damage. It's a great start. Don't need to heal yourself too, just yet. He's getting back up. He's jumping over. Failed the death saving throw. Oh my days. She hits so hard. Right. I think you better put her to sleep, Starion. Too many hit points to sleep. Can you make her laugh? Won't see this coming. Okay. Get into position to help Lazel up. Enough action points for that. Um, stay put. Ah, death saving throw successful. Okay, that's one on one. Shadow heart. Let's get our. And apply some healing. Level one. And then move into position. Fight her. I, I am death. Um, not enough action points. Use some of your stamina, second wind. I mean, if she's one hitting us, it's much of a muchness, but we should try and stay on our feet for a quick second here. Uh, 
12 left. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Good job, miss. Miss, miss, miss. Better try and finish this guy. Just hit him with an attack, I guess. Invisible spectral hand. No, just hit him. Nice. All right, now we can focus on Big Mama. I mean, you guys started it. I was happy to back off and have a combo. I apologized. Let me actually get away from your attacks. My injuries need tending. Didn't mean to take that hit for no reason. Get me up. Okay. And then... What do we got? Inflict wounds. Morning. Not enough to hit. But I can res. Good. Nothing just yet. She raging. A little help, please. I got you. She's bleeding too. Let's finish this. Hit it with the guiding bolt. Easier to hit her. Give her a little shove. Too heavy. Okay. Makes sense. Fire. Five. Still breathing. Shillelagh. <sighs> Miss. Why is the wyvern toxin right here? Coat your weapon. Oh, I can coat my weapon with that toxin that they gave me instead of drinking it. Character has escaped death. Get her up. Jeez. He had a lot of weapons on him. Alchemy. Craft your potions and poisons. Honestly, I went through all of Divinity and didn't do any crafting. Well, um... That was something. That that happened. That was a thing. What's hiding here? I wonder how else that can go. Whether there's any way of chatting to them and not fighting. <laughs> That's just a little little thing that has to happen there. God. It's just the fact I was like, what's that noise? Some sort of rhythmic humping going on somewhere. Expecting it to be like goblins marching or playing some drums. And it was a guy just, you Looks know, <clears throat> rutting away, shall we say. All right. We're getting towards where we need to be. Let's hit a long rest. Oh, oh I didn't mean a short rest. Whoops. Do that once a day anyway. Okay, we'll continue on for now. Oh. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Who are you? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. 
What's that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? And you are? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. It's not every day one meets such a cavalier sinner as yourself. A true bloody pleasure. Hmm. Are you one of my old staff? One evil butler's enough. You wound my honor. Consider me a peer for your vice. Shall we withdraw? We have much to discuss. To our mutual satisfaction. A fellow killer. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Whoa. Where are we going? Somewhere deep and dark. Somewhere grand and gold. There. Middle of somewhere. It's giving Dracula. Can you be more specific? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy. That your painting supper. is, uh... after all, it might just be your last. Excuse me. Are these theatrics leading somewhere? Ignore him and fill your plate. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. There you are. What's better? Than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. <sighs> Makes you think I need saving. Come now. Why play hard to get when you're in? Deep over your tadpole head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. Tagline I could to my fix movie. it all like that. Hmm. <clears throat> You're mad if you think I'll make a deal with a devil. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still. I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. You haven't even made your offer. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. But what do you want from me? Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. Sorry, I was drinking. That was rude of me to slurp a straw in your ear. Um, if I do want to take the deal, how would I find you? I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms... Sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Well, I want to know what he wants for that. Uh, now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. If we don't know what we're walking into, that bridge will collapse under us. The devil has a plan. He's playing with us. He reminds me of... 
Well, someone I used to know. You. Someone I like to play with. People. You are starring. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. You might not be able to outfox him, but I will. Oh, will you? Because you've got it all figured out, I'm sure. You know who tampered with the parasite and why, and what they have planned for us. And of course you know why we're interesting enough that a devil would come to proposition us. Because if you don't know that, you may as well sign over your soul now. We may escape whatever web we're trapped in, but until we know what's going on, this Raphael has us exactly where he wants us. I thought you wouldn't disapprove of that. I thought we were bantering, Astarian. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Use your shared connection to read her thoughts. She may not approve of this. Anticipation. She is testing me somehow. About Raphael. Are you with the devil? Seems like you have a particular point you want to make. Actually, yes, you're right. Very intuitive. Clearly the devil was trying to sow doubt among us. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When mm -hmm. actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Well, glad I made the right decision then. Perhaps you didn't. See? Sowing doubt is an old trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Okay. What do you think, Lazel? This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Alright, but wipe your nose, darling. Um... We have no dragons. I will sit astride one. It is only a matter of time. I will ride a red dragon. I will wield the silver sword. And I will conquer every layer of hell, should my queen command it. Very well. Why were those knights chasing the ship? The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. Oh. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase. To penetrate the hells? This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Vlakith's sight pierces the many planes. So they weren't there to rescue you. Looks like we've got a talking of bridges to cross when we come to them. The Risen Road. Come on, gang. Okay, so to the right is the devil, so we want to make sure we bring out Will before we do that. Long rest. Oh, I can just go to camp without a long rest. Ah, eh, we could use a long rest anyway. Get our spell slots and everything back and all of our health. Had a couple of fights there. Let's speak to Lazel for the first time in camp and see what she's wearing. Oh, and Gail is here, of course. Looking very purple. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. <laughs> <sighs> you have a strange definition of flattery. Believe me, that was a devil's equivalent of serenades and roses. 
Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. Hmm. What is it the devil wants? Our souls. I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. But if there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. Quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. What do you think that could be? I'm the foggiest. But, based on the evidence before us, we can make certain deductions as to why he sought out our merry band. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Interesting line of uh, thinking there, Gale. I have to say. I feel like I want to put on the uh, outfit. There we go. This is what I want to wear in camp. I want to feel good, you know? I want to feel pretty, guys. I want to be feeling myself roaming around my camp here like a queen, alright? Speak. Look at us, just two bad bees in our bikinis. Um, you look unusual. Githyanki are rare in these parts. I expect I am your first. Oh, um, well, I know of you. I've just never met one. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. She's so you dramatic. You are no less alien to me than I, like I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. I'm sorry. Did you just... It isn't that big. Decadent, then. Mm. Lacking in economy. Well. Like so much of this world and its undisciplined people. Okay. I've had urges. I want to kill. I want blood. Many a good warrior savors the scent of blood in the air. There's no shame in a capricious murder now and again. Too many, though. And you waste energy and dull your weapon. My suggestion. Attack with purpose and savor your kills. And if the urge proves too much, well, I'm sure we can find you a goblin or two to carve up. Oh, thank you for your understanding. Little, weird little training dummy you have. Hi, doggy. Why are you barking? Why are you not talking? Hope you're keeping well, friend. Speak with animals. Always on. Always essential. So that lasts until long rest, so I've got to make sure I cast that spell every time I rest. Can I just chill on this? Nice. Cute. Alright, sleep. Oh, wait. Uh, no, sleep, and then we'll switch. Yeah. I'll leave, um, I'll leave you. I need a quick word. Speak. And then I'll take Will. Chuck. You believe you can survive without me? Just stay here. As you say, do not keep me waiting. Okay, and we'll bring Will with us, because we're about to go after the devil. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, 
and the moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. Mm -hmm. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? With the right teacher, get to the point. You mean Raphael? We should consider his offer. Spare me the parables. With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer. No matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. Not so sure. He spoke of a cure. We have to hear him out. Take a single step towards him. And he'll dog you the whole journey. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Man, Will is actually like an awesome companion if you're playing like a very noble heroic playthrough. His lines and dialogue are really cool and slanted that way. Well met. Alright, you're with me now. That's the spirit. Sleepy times. Someone in camp still wishes to speak to you. Who? Need something? Alright, well, it's not you, is it? Perhaps it's Shadowheart. Sweetheart, Shadowheart. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some. It's not you either. Wait. It's over there. Who's that? Wither, what are you doing here? We meet again. As predicted. I feel slightly, uh... I shall be here undressed. in thy camp. For whenever thou hast need of my services. <laughs> I love that it's like he showed up here and he's like, We meet again. As predicted. I'm just gonna like predict to people that I'll see them again and then I'll just show up where they are and be like, as predicted, we meet again. Like we arrange to be here. You're you know, you knock on their door. It's like you're at my house, of course we're meeting again. What kind of services can you offer? A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots Ooh. perish, I will cleave soul to body. We once can more. die, die, die? Really? What's the cost? A matter of coin. So 200 to bring someone back. If someone dies, dies. Can you help me change my class? That's something else I can do, is it? What if I don't have that kind of gold? Then I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. But I can bring people back with scrolls, but he means like death, death. As thou desire. No, I don't actually want to change it. I just was curious if you can, Wither. Wither, stop. Stop. I don't want to pay a hundred for being what I am. I'm happy with how I am, sir. Can you, um, Wither? Wither? Wither, what are you doing? Get off me. <laughs> you absolute menace. Not this one. Nor this one. And this one are less worthy still. What are you doing? Writing the balance. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Why are you always just trying to get money out of me? 
Will hirelings be joining me willingly? You think I can trust cultists? Hmm. Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Okay. Well. Very well. How much? A hundred for a hireling. All right. Interesting. Uh, this multi-classing, this advanced feature allows you to build powerful combinations of classes at the expense of higher level class features. Only level up one class at a time. Okay. Can I sleep now? Bedtime. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe... You just get lucky. Um. Shit. <laughs> no, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. I. I wasn't going to hurt you. I. I just needed. Well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is a vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. Mm. I can't believe I didn't see it. How long since you killed someone? Melee attack. Pick up a steak and lunge at the monster. How long since you killed someone, Astarian? I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals. Bulls. Edward. Deer. Kobolds. Whatever I can get. It's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Push into his mind, searching for the truth. You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. You tried to bite me. How can I trust you? Leave. If I ever see you again, I'll kill you. I do. I believe you. I do believe you. You know? I believe you, Astarian. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? Mm. I only need a taste. I swear. Why are you not prepared? Not a drop more than you need. Go too far, I'll drive a stake through your chest. <sighs> what is this, true blood? Go on then, have a suck. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? Um... It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. Oh dear. Persuasion, that's enough. Strength, push him back. Grab the stake and drive it into his heart. Let him continue. Uh, I mean, see if he, if he is true to his word. Let him go on a little bit. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. Relax, let yourself drift away. Stop, it's too much. I don't want to die. Good. Uh, of course. I was just swept up in the moment. Hmm. But it worked. I feel good. 
strong, happy. Listen, if you're going to be a sexy vampire lover, we need to get you a better outfit because feasting on me whilst wearing this, I can't take it seriously. So we need to get you something like, you know, flowing white uh, shirt, kind of like hot looking vest, you know, it's this isn't going to fly. But, you know, for the first time, it's fine. Also, you almost killed me. But I didn't. And that's what matters. And look what you've gained. Together, we can take on the world. Hmm. I look forward to seeing you fight. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. Why didn't you go and get that in the first place? This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. Better not. You watch as he stalks towards the forest. Stronger, more confident. Ready to hunt. Creep. <laughs> I just got a Steam achievement. Let a starion bite you, and it's called Just a Nibble. Good morning. How do you feel? Mm, like I had my blood sucked out of me. My neck hurts. How do you think I feel? Be grateful I'm not a true vampire, then. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. <sighs> Any other drawbacks? Oh, I've no idea. For 200 years, the sun would have turned me to cinders hmm. until the crash when I woke up bathed in its light. Interesting. Someone or something. The tadpoles keeping him alive. alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. Oh, no. As for my other quirks, well... <laughs> We can figure those out in time. I'm feeling enemies to lovers with some sort of thing of if he takes the tadpole out, then he has to go back to being a vampire of not being in the sun. If I can help, just ask. We're in this together. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I know. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Well, I've got my own Although secrets, haven't still I? Time. A vampire. Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. Fine. As long as he keeps his fangs off our necks. I trust him. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. I'd just better not wake with any holes in my neck. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? Maybe more. There's a long day ahead of us. All right. Well, let's go indeed. Now, what do I have here? I've got some sort of blood list. Feel a bit woozy. Minus one to attack rolls, saving throws, and most ability checks. But Astarian has happy. Astarian's vampiric humber, hunger has been sated. Plus one to attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks. So a little bit of a debuff for me, a little bit of a buff for uh, Astarian. That's pretty funny. Let's get going. And a level up for me. Let's see. Quite a bit happening here. Um... Another cantrip. Guidance. Flame. Resistance. Make a target more resistant to spell effects. Or thorn whip and pull a creature three meters closer to you. Closing the gap has been an issue in some of our fights. Thorn whip honestly might be welcome. And uh, Shadow Heart has guidance. I think I'm going to thorn whip it up. It's also fitting for a druid, isn't it? Okay. And I unlocked some slots. Uh, gain two spells that are always prepared. 
Arctic. Gain hold person and spike growth. That can be a... Oh, okay, so it's my the type of druid I am. Mirror image and misty step. Blur and silence. Bark skin, hold person. Invisibility and pass without trace. Mirror image, spike growth. Melf's acid arrow and darkness. Or web and misty step. Hmm. Okay. And silence. Bark skin like armor. Hold person. Uh, invisibility. Mirror image. I feel like a druid of the Arctic could be good. A spike growth sounds decent. And hold person. Is that sort of like a stun? What I see in here. I don't know if I can... Spike growth. There we go. Transmutation spell. Shape a piece of ground into hard spikes. Movement's halved. Creature walking on the spikes takes two to eight. Dark vision is seeing in the dark. Arc skin. Transmutation spell. Protect a creature from attacks. Increase armor class to 16. I feel like bark skin could be useful. Hold a humanoid enemy still. They can't move, act, or react. Attacks from within three meters are always crits. For 10 turns. What? That is very powerful. Um. Oh, I'm between forest and arctic. It's whether I want spike growth or... I think bark skin. I think that's going to be good for giving people armor. And I can hold people. That's B... A druid of the forest. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, Gail wants to chat. Spare me a moment, if you please. I've something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. All right, everyone's the dropping their secrets. That I'd have preferred to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I say needs must. I have must. no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Nature provides the cure to most ailments. Tell me your symptoms. Thank you for the offer. The treatment for my condition is very specific. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Right. Well, your illness causes you to consume raw magic. I need details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact. Since before we were abducted. It's time. And by that, I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. Okay, where do we find these? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. Look at his you know lines. For yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. From a vampire for blood to a vampire for danger magic. involved, or great cost. <laughs> I expected as much. I guess I will help you, Gail. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. What is it? Give Gale a magic artifact. Which one? Um. What happens to this item? I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. Which are you taking? I mean, I have to, really. I did eat your hand once in another life. Oh, okay. 
So something that has extras here. So I either give you my gloves of power, which I'm wearing, which are giving me sleight of hand plus one, and inflicting a penalty to targets, attack rolls, and saving throws. I can give you a, the locket that has dancing lights on it, which I switched out for one with speak with dead anyway. Or I give you this little dagger, which adds death's promise. When the spear misses its target, the wielder's next attack roll gains true strike. Um, have a munch on this dagger, honestly. I think. I'm going to give someone that guiding lights thing. Yeah. Thank you. Do the lines go? Stay. Oh. That hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Well, how do I know the real monster isn't you? Perhaps you'll tell me what it's in aid of? Grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. Sincerely, though. I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. All right. Don't mention it. My lady, I bowed your boundless kindness. Very well, Gail. Oh, look, she's like sharpening her weapons over there. That's so cool. All right, team, let's head out. Let's hunt ourselves a devil. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, please do hit that like button before you head out and check out those videos on the screen to go on another adventure right now. Make sure you leave me a comment if you want to see more of this one. It would be truly, truly appreciated. And more importantly, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.